Okay, that's set now. Updated. Mm. How much here is locked? Wonderful. Alright. Cool Sestra. Oh shit, I actually need that helmet. And it's a spy? Alright. That shouldn't be a problem. We're going pretty good. I don't even remember what this helmet looks like, but I want it. Dance. What's up, Ohil? First one here, I think. Yeah, I know I said yesterday that I was going to uh, continue the stream in the morning, but I was very tired. So, ends up that it's tonight, and now I'm full of turkey. Yeah, this, uh, I think nobody was here whenever I, uh, started up this mission. This is the, um, Equinox's alt helmet alert that is, uh, up right now on PC. So, if you guys want that, I'm just, like, a shameless collector. Nice. Yeah, I still need to, like, properly start playing Bloodborne, but... That might that might be after I hit uh after I hit twenty one. And do some other things of course. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. I might uh, do like my Bloodborne playthrough and Fallout like simultaneously. I don't know if that'll be weird or not. Aw, oh, you bastards. Oh well. Wukong can't die, so I don't really care. And hey, Wukong don't care. We're gonna just care about cameras. I did not reinstall that mod. Oh well. Might do that. Although I do, uh... Like to go solo a lot of the time. In, um, uh, FromSoft games. These enemies need to back it off. Oh, everybody beat the game already and they're just kind of done with it. I should kill this nullifier. There we go. Wow, really? From zero to seven in just this one mission? Well, I guess it is a spy. These give quite a bit of experience. All right, time to smoke out of here. Nah, beating the main story is never everything. Especially not since that DLC just came out. You'd think there'd be like a resurgence of people going back to it if they liked it. Which it seemed like a lot of people really liked Bloodborne even if it was uh... Definitely way different than Dark Souls. Like even based on the very little bit I played, I'm, it's a hugely different flow to the game. Alright, I have Equinox's other helmet. And these are already at 11, wonderful. Oxium and Tellurium for that? I don't play Oxium enough for that. I got the blueprint, that's fine unless I need that element. Alright, let's actually level this weapon now. This should go well. A trinity and a bunch of DPS frames. I wonder if the mantis is gonna become common. Like, eventually. Like, if I'll just see it all the time. But right now, it's definitely not really. Damn. I heard that DLC was like 15 hours long. I don't know. The way I like approach uh, Frums games is like I want to collect all the things and make sure I beat every single boss. Not big on New Game Plus. I usually would start a new character before that, but
They're a faction attacking. Where are they at? All this losing control. Why would you do that? That like ruins the balance of the game. That's like the most unfun. Like if you're not gonna actually play the game, then like probably shouldn't bother like buying it, I guess. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be much point in doing something like that to me. I don't even need to buy for these enemies. It's not, not required. Oh, Stalker's here. What's up, Stalker? How you doing? Alright. Where do you go to? Stalker, this is about enough out of you. That won't kill me. He didn't drop Molten Impact, did he? I don't think that's in his drop table. Is he around? He's dead? Okay. Really? Are you kidding me? Dude, man, nobody should play a game just because they want views. That's so low. It's like you're just gonna like do something that you like won't have any fun with and probably like will just like, kind of ignore the game and like force yourself to play it. That's a waste of time. Like, I would only do that if someone, like, specifically requested a game. And it's like, I don't really like that game, but you know what, okay, sure. If you guys want to see me play it, then cool. But, like, setting out with the idea that this game will get you more views, that's just lame. Oh, enemy die. like that. Decided the game was too hard. I think the actual bow stance might be better than Wukong's stance, which is kind of sad. Like, Wukong has, like, range advantages, sure, but I don't think he has damage advantages. His bow staff seems kind of weak. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Excalibur's great. I would definitely suggest anyone build Excalibur. After his rework, he is like an actual middle ground between like a lot of the different frames. Yeah. Yeah, the damaged mods are maybe not great. I kind of wish they weren't in the game, honestly, because I feel like it encourages people to waste their, like, fusion cores. Like, instead of... Instead of giving, like, people a list of objectives, like, well, you should get... Like, these are basic mods for your powers, and you should go get them. Like, they could give you, like, a list and, like, guide you to where you, like, should be going and, like, what enemies can drop it. Or, like, have a quest just to attain those. But, like, instead, it's like, here's some shit versions that are a waste of your time to level up and don't really add anything to your build. Pretty lame. I don't know. I'm just glad there aren't damage mods in the rest of the game. Because if I got, like, a damaged life strike, oh my god. Actually, you know what? That might actually be really good. I take that back. A damaged life strike might be OP. Depending on what its drain is like. Because if it's a mod that you could slot into any build, including, like, one with no channeling efficiency and it wouldn't be, like, bad... They'd probably be like crazy strong. Probably nuts insane. Oh yeah, you'll probably really enjoy Valkyrie too. And Valkyrie and XL are both like super endgame viable. Man, Defy is really good, but I'm not getting any use of it out of these, uh, these enemies. My team's too good. Why would this person leave? We don't need that person. You're lowering our enemy count that we have to deal with, and that lowers my experience, and that's just not what I want in my life. cap this while I'm in the win. I can. I can totally cloud cap. Did you made did you make a second account to uh, refresh yourself on the new player experience? Because that's part of the reason that I uh, started the free-to-play was to kind of relearn the beginning of the game because it had been so long. Speaking of the free-to-play, we might actually uh, go to that account after after I am at MR21, because I actually have a lot of stuff still to do on that account. And by a lot of stuff still to do, I mean like, the, the only real goal left for that account is to start doing LOR, and then it's like, you collect builds that you want, you collect frames that you want, you do that kind of stuff. But of course, it's important to finish what I started at some point. They've been releasing content like really fast though, and like all those games came out. It's very distracting. Like Fallout 4, that game's amazing. And it's a time eater. It is a vicious beast that wants to eat all my time. And then I got a PS4. Destiny, another time meter game. Where did this person die? Interesting. Oh, range is actually useful here.
interesting. Hmm. The rainbow. Oh, the new Rainbow Six. Yeah, the new Rainbow Six looks all right. If that is the game that you're talking about, there may be some other rainbow-related game that I uh, am unaware of. Actually, not sure if I have Malicious Raptor. Do I have that one? It, no, it's the other claw stance that I don't have. Right, right, right. I'm actually pretty close to all of the, like, uh... PvE mods in the game having, like, all of them collected once again. There was a point where, like, I had gotten them all, and then they added a bunch more. Or I think I was only, like, two off. Like, obviously I don't have, like, uh, Prime Chamber, I think it is. Hmm. Wait, there's no, um, like, need to get into the Rainbow Six beta? Like, there's no, um, like, rule set. Like, you don't have to meet some some weird requirement to get in there. Because if so, I might download it. That'd be a game I definitely want to try out. That's good. Why would these people leave? Stay till 4. Get keys. Keys are so important. Uh... I'm not gonna leave. Fuck that. <sighs> I'll fucking take the last round. I don't give a shit. The worst part of this is host migration because sometimes it crashes the game. That's like the worst thing that could happen. The hard part about this is going to be actually getting the points. I'm going to have to be very careful. Yeah. God damn it. is not a long-range weapon. Nope. Enemies. Come on. Just let me have it. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. I just need to be very careful. Bad. No hiding. All these enemies. Guarding these three will allow me to win, so I don't really care about the last one. Most of the enemies won't spawn in the uh, other section down by where that one is, so... I need to, like, optimize who I'm killing. Because people can't just stay. Uh, yes, I believe noon on Monday, in my time zone, is when that ends. Is there a ballista somewhere? I feel like I just got shot by a ballista. You know, I think the Chessa Kubro, now that the Kubro costs have been adjusted, is actually really nice. Mostly because, like, I like having a dog. I'm willing to make the sacrifice of Carrier, I think. Ah, shit. Damn it. Wasn't paying attention. That's what I get. Cool. As long as I don't lose one more. Don't. Nope. You died.
What's the beeping? There it is. I hate that they just run to the panel. Try and kill me first, you assholes. Losing B. God damn it. This is why interception is a pain in the ass. Solo, anyway. And I don't even care if this guy's shooting me. I just want the tower. The tower is the difference between me winning and losing, so this is all that matters. There we go. There we go. Come on. Percentage. Go up way faster than that. There we go. Now we're good. Now. Now we have control. This guy's behind the wall. Our girl, actually, as it turns out. Alright. It is unnecessary to fight me in such a way. I think Handspring is like the Exilus mod of choice on Wukong. For sure. I think that's like the definite 100% of the time choice. And it's probably worth forming him for Rejuvenation. Maybe not. That's not very... People don't like that very much in the raid. Although I could just switch to Im Impotence on the raid. And if I really needed to bring this frame there. Yeah. That didn't go bad. I don't know why people don't just stay one more round. With just two people, interception becomes like... You're back now with Pi. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Ah. Uh, like, I'm full of turkey and mashed potatoes and other Thanksgiving foodstuffs. I have not eaten pie. I, I want to eat pie very badly now. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm hunting the last enemy. Ooh. Hmm. Good job, Scorpion. There you go. Oh look, I got almost an entire Oberon. Nice. <laughs> It's a 30. Wonderful. All right. Was so close that I can basically taste it. I'll be honest with you. All right. Let's see some damage values on this thing. Abysmal critical chance. That's no good. You know, one of the bad things about pistols like this is that, like, It'd be fine, like, mm, if, if there was another slot that was like utility and pistol ammo mutation was considered utility, pistols with high fire rates would be way better. Because right now it's all about ammo efficiency because you can fit like one more damage mod and that's usually way more useful. Oh man, you have so much time for pie. That's not fair. It's not fair for one person to have so much pie. That's not okay. That's... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's not okay at all. Yeah. Unfortunately, I already know these weapons are bad. Same with the Kastanas. Unfortunately. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Although, that's why I didn't bother getting them sooner, so... There's also that. Oh yeah, for anyone that wants to see, like, what all I have left... Uh, the Velocitus, about halfway, Dual Cleavers, these Kastanas, uh, the Phaedra and the Kazas. So, and the weapons that I have right now, Velocitus, Phaedra, and the Kastanas. So I won't be, I, well, 
Whenever they come back around, I'm definitely getting the Prisma Dual Cleavers. I miss those whenever I was at a Comic-Con. And the Kazas, whenever the part drops, I'll have it. But as for everything else... Those are all complete. All the companions are complete for now. And... And I have all of my uh, solar map experience. So you can just barely get here. Uh, I think the total amount of... Wait. You can be missing four weapons now? Wait. Yeah, four weapons now. Yeah, that makes... Yeah, wait no. Might be five. It's if four or five weapons you're allowed to be missing now to get to 21. <coughs> all right. I switched, right? I think I did. Let me make sure. Yeah, I did. All right, let's go again. And this will be the last non-Arkwing thing. Really not find me a squad? How am I waiting for players with five squads open? What is this? What is this heresy? Do it. Who's this? A Trinity Prime. Alright, I'll take it. They're forming a talk war, I bet. amount of experience is barely seeable oh you mean in um like it's a barely seeable amount whenever you begin whenever you begin it's only like two warframes and then you're at like basically mr3 need to build to make the redeemer good um eh. hmm Mostly stealth is what's gonna do it there. I've heard the re I've heard good things about the Redeemer on Loki and Ash because you can get um, invisibility uh, bonus damage and then utilize that. Oh, I forgot to switch in Handspring. Oh wow, really? I didn't know you didn't even have to have PlayStation Plus to play it. That's really nice. I guess they went with, like, uh, the game has to be, like, fully free to play, I guess. Don't, don't grab me. Oh, there's an energy trend here. Well. In that case, I'm just gonna activate, I super can't die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, once you get... I think once you get past 15, it gets ridiculous. Man, I don't mind Wukong's passive. But I really wish it was, like, recover from knockdowns faster, like a built-in handspring, because it feels, like, really needed on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the bar is so close, but I have, like, a pretty decent amount left to go.
Although it's only like, well, no, I don't know. Leveling Arcwing is not that hard. Uh, I was running Arcwing stuff, so I replaced my aura with a Rejuvenation. Just because, like, in Arcwing, regenerating health, is, there's no, like, support Arcwing. So I dropped Handspring and switched. Oh yeah, Wukong's bow is super cartoony. Kinda nice, though. Yeah, Wukong slams are goop troop. Using rage on him is like required. It's so required. That's something that's like. If I see someone's build of Wukong that isn't like some like really weird gimmick and it doesn't include rage, I'll just be like, why? It gives you so much energy. It just means you can just use Defy basically forever, and you have to reactivate it every once in a while. I can need to polarize Wukong, honestly. Alright, let's put this away. Um, he's better at Excal at some things. Mostly just fucking being impossible to kill. Like, it's so hard. It's so hard. Like, to make him die, it takes so much fucking work. Red, you have rage. His ult is definitely worse, though. His 1 is like, really good. Well, I don't think it's better than Slash Dash. But his 3 is really nice. His 3 gives you, like, some invincibility stages. Alright, I guess I'm forced into the full revive. There we go. Oh yeah. He's definitely good solo. I think the, the team comp that he fits into is literally like Valkyr, him, Excal, and then whatever. Like after you do those three, I don't think it's gonna really matter. You go so far and endless. It's like, what's that? Oh yeah, we're just gonna, let's just roll two hours. Uh, Rage is a mod that you get from, um, well, you can get it from, uh, the boxes in the, uh, in the void. And actually, if you guys want to see, I can show you how to loot the void. It requires Loki, but you can loot the void really easily. Nice, always need more rope spells. Yeah, also, uh, Blind Rage is the, uh, one that is from the Aroken Vaults. How did this person leave? Going one wave on here is just not worth it. Oh, the Asa Sandana is, like, made for Wukong. Might be just because I like his weird head things. I want to see his alt helmets, honestly. Hmm. There are some interesting tricks you can do with Loki that I think may change your mind on vault looting. Loki can do some for real bullshit. And I'm pretty sure no other frame can do it. Ash might be able to accomplish it. Hmm.
the amount of not dying. Like, I'm at 40 health. I just don't even care. It's fine. Yeah. Volt plus the Orthos with the uh, Prime Reach is pretty damn good. Yes, it is definitely, yeah, you're correct. It is basically Trinity tier survivability, just rolled onto one frame because reasons. And it feels fucking great. I know there's some guy on the Reddit that keeps organizing like all one frame raids. This one's gonna be like the easiest. It's gonna be like no problem. That is once enough people have him though. Although, I have kind of turned around on um, my disgust for the grind uh, for the lower tier uh, clans. For the high tier clans, it's still ridiculous. But for lower tier ones, I actually don't think it's that bad. Which I can elaborate on if people don't know uh, the reasons why it has uh, been significantly... This guy. How did I get down here? All right, I killed him. Murdered him super good. Uh, the Nitane alerts are, yeah, they're, yeah. part of it is that the Nitane alerts are guaranteed. So, every day, every 24 hour period, there has to be, they force the system to do at least four of them. At the minimum, there will be four. There can be more. So, for my tier of clan, which is the smallest, 11 is 100% reasonable. If there's going to be four every day, sure, I might not get one every day. But in a couple days, like... That's not a big deal for, like, doing the complete research, and then maybe one more day of, like, paying attention to whenever they come up, and then you have Wukong. That doesn't even seem that silly. Uh, yeah, see, that right there is the problem. If you have a big clan, and, like, you're upgraded, but only a couple people play, like, then you're, you're fucked. Because, like, in my tier clan... It makes it work because like 10 people they're like 11 okay and then it's multiplied up for the other clans but like most clans I would say they can be big but like the problem is that you have only a couple dedicated players like per clan because those are usually the people that start a clan first of all like that's the case with me and Jacob Is like we started a clan and we keep it small because we know, we know that we're gonna keep playing like just a hilarious amount. And like we'll always keep on top of it. But like once you start getting people that are like on once a month, stuff like that, it's like well, th this isn't, it's not viable for research then. Uh, currently, most of my plat is from uh, getting the most recent Prime Access. I got the Trinity Prime Access. Yeah. See, for, for eight people... For eight people, like... 50 just for the research is not, like... That takes... Mm, like, say all of you get two a day. If you all get two a day, that takes, like four days-ish to do it, but like, 
that's if you have eight dedicated players. So, I don't know. It kind of goes both ways. The problem is that a lot of clans have, like, a hundred members and two people that will actually go get the Nightane. That's why, like, people are freaking out. Because they want to have big clans, but, like, now they can't have Wukong because they have a big clan, kind of. I think that's especially true of, um... God, what was the clan name? Uh, Bro Frame, I think, was the clan name. Like, they had, like, all thousand member, like... I think they had, like, a... Like, a couple thousand people. And now, most of those people have quit. But they still have, like, the thousand member, like, cost for everything. So those, like, what, like, maybe... Maybe, like, 50 to 100 players that are still in that clan are totally fucked. They're never getting Wukong unless they leave. And that sucks. Hopefully a lot of that should be relieved whenever clan downsizing comes out. War bro. That might have been the, the name of the clan. I know it was something bro. Oh, I actually ran out of energy. I didn't even notice. Alright, well, we'll go with Defy. Let these guys shoot me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, the people that can only play like two hours a day, like, those are the people that are maybe getting one alert a day. And that's where this comes into like, man, if you don't like either like dedicate yourself to the game, which a lot of people aren't willing to do, like, I'm dedicated to the game, but like, I am not the, like, uh, the case study for a normal player. Dude, the new characters for Broforce are fucking rad. That game is just amazing, though. That game speaks to me on, like, a spiritual level. I killed him. I murdered that man. That guy died. I watched him die. Bro Lander. Oh man. I'm not, I, oh yeah. Okay, so if you spent more time with that character, what like is there some, like, other effect to his, like, ult? Or his, like, grenade, I guess? Like, is there some, like, uh, like, other component to it? Because it, it seems like it kills everyone on screen. I did only mess with him for, like, a little while, though. Does the screen nuke? Okay. I couldn't. I didn't know if it was like something more than that. Like, I, also, I played solo. Does it kill teammates? Does it kill teammates? Because if it kills teammates, 
Fr friendly fire in that game, like, specific friendly fire, I'm okay with. Like for Chuck Norris, that's fine. I hope it kills teammates. Yes, I concur that they should definitely... They should definitely be able to turn off screen shake. They turned off UI screen shake, and I can turn that on if you want to see how atrocious that is. Yeah, the UI shake is... Fucked up. It's like, what's the function of this? Oh, it makes it harder to read your uh, UI whenever you need it the most. Oh, I'm, I mean, okay. I, I, is, is that a feature, or are, are you are you nerfing us? Are you nerfing humans on the whole? Yeah, yeah, screen shake is definitely back. You know, you know what's a real good time for your teammates? Bright pink energy Excalibur. That's a great time for your teammates. Just point it right at them and just swing. I matched, it, oh, not matched into, joined a party that had someone that was doing that, and I was like, come on, man. Think of the children, or something. Oh yeah, that person's a Valkyr. They're probably about to tear it up. Alright, this person's here. Oh. Ah! They stole my gun. They need to fix the bugginess with Wukong's combos. Like, as soon as possible. It's hard to do them. And sometimes you just get this. Like, I was just, like, spamming melee, and you just do, like, the one little jerky jerk swing. God damn it, I wasn't paying attention. Yep. It is cool to have, like, a really, like, bright energy color on that. Like, I feel like the, the energy color I, like, was using for a little bit. Actually, I think it might still be set that way. Uh, I was using orange, like, the orange that I'm using on Wukong right now. Because I was like, yeah, I'm just going to start using orange as my energy color because I like it. Nah, that was a mistake. I need to change that back if I haven't. Okay, they're taking all the points. All right, I'm just gonna hold these two. God damn it! Here, here, right, here, right here is what Wukong is bad at. Like group clear. Or well, enemies that won't pay attention to him. He's bad at enemies that will not pay attention to him. Yep. Nice. Are you going to be doing map completion on your second account? I will not do map completion on the free-to-play account. Mostly because I want to see what it looks like whenever um, they do the new star chart. Like, compare a completed one to the new one, like, completed and not. They will let me keep my, like, star chart complete status. 
whenever we switch over, like whatever the equivalent of that is. These enemies are being real assholes. Could not possibly agree more. I hate the leeching is the best way to level. Uh, murdering people super hard is my favorite. And like, Wugong can murder them super hard. He just does it slower than I would like. Yeah, focusing void is focusing void is probably the right call. All right, that's every uh, Warframe equipable weapon that I can level. Because I'm missing. Yeah, I'm missing the Prisma Dual Cleavers as my last Warframe weapon, which leaves me just over three thousand away. Which is also just over one weapon. Alright, now I don't need to switch back to Handspring because I'm going into Arcwing. Alright, Blossos is already equipped. Itzel's already equipped. Let's do this. Hmm, is anyone doing the defense? Oh, there are people doing the defense. Nah, it's slow leveling. I'm not going to do that. Like the slowest leveling for sure. Ah, oh. man, I was trying to get someone to sell me cleavers for like a while. Uh, unfortunately, the only offer I got was like absolutely an insane price. They were like 700 and I was like, nah, no, nah, nah, nope, mm -mm. It's like, I don't need them that badly. Uh, yeah, the mobile defense, yeah, mobile defenses I think are right behind this mission in terms of leveling. Like, all of the mobile defenses. I think this one for weapons pretty much always goes 0 to 30. Usually. Might be two missions to go 0 to 30. Yeah, I'm really hoping the Void Trader uh, brings the cleavers in the morning. Oh, if you abuse the spawns on this map? Yeah. If you do some Elytron abuse. Yeah, I try not to do that. Well, it's because it makes it really boring. I'd much rather fly around and do melee. Man, don't even talk about Prime Fast Deflection. Please, no. Fast Deflection really should uh, reduce the time between your um, shield recharging and not. And then Prime Fast Deflection should make it so your shield is always recharging. Now that would be useful. Oh, bad Ogma.
It sounds a little OP, but like if it's a prime mod, it should be a little OP, right? Like it's gonna be a rank 10, you gotta get it from the boy trader, it only comes around every once in a while. Like the regular one would make it so it's like, you get half the time between your shields recharging and not. It's like, okay, you know what, that's a mod that someone, I could see someone using that on a, like a, like a shield heavy frame, but a prime mod, prime mods are super strong, like prime flow, Man, that's a lot of energy. You almost never need that much energy. But Prime Flow does it. I think the one mod they'll never release is Prime Streamline. Even though it is in the game's code already. Man, if that comes tomorrow... Man. Oh, man. That would... That, you want to shake up the meta? That is the way to take the meta, grab it by the throat, and just throw it off a building. God, Prime Streamline would fucking change the face of the game. So many more things would be possible. Prime Continuity is so good. I still have one more level to get on Prime Continuity. I think after... Yeah. After I get to 21, might be, like, core farming time to get the rest of my, like, prime mods leveled and stuff. That's, like, a really long process, though, honestly. What's capturing this? Oh, it doesn't matter. Alright, everything must die. I love how fast the Itzel is. It's so fucking good. It's so satisfying to use. I'm so glad they fixed the Arcwing Efficiency mod to actually be good. Why would core farming be less of a thing in Damage 3.0? Like, you still would definitely need to do it. Like, for sure. Cause like I don't I don't think damage 3.0 would change like prime continuity and stuff like that. Well, these aren't physical anymore. Good. Oh, just because of okay, yeah, yeah, like removing hornet strike and stuff. Yeah. It would I think it would backload a lot of the core farming. Although, honestly, you don't need a max, like, Hornet Strike or Serration until, like, such high endgame. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember hearing about that. That's one of the Prime mods I did not get, because... Just, it uh, wasn't a thing that I cared about. I still don't, really. Mostly because, like, if I have to form an Arcwing... Like, they better fix Arkwing's problems. Hundred and sixty five percent strength, oh God. Yeah, that's insane. 
just stack thumpers all day. Oh yeah. There's one of the best things about that. The fact that you can just, like, get all the drops. Yeah, the Thumper better be real. Thumper OP. Like, it's being used right now. Kinda sucks that the Odonata is so incredibly outclassed by both of the other uh, Arc Wings. Even if you have the Prime version. I have heard that the Odonata is really good in the raid, though. Apparently there's something special it can do. Which I guess would be the shield. Since your movement is restricted, I guess that could be it. That's an Ogma. Come here. Crit damage and repel. Okay. I could see that. Oh, is there a lot of uh, playing keep away in um, the raid? Just like, just sit on it and just repel the shit out of a bunch of enemies. Oh, hey, rare mod. Man, that right there, that's that's that right there is a real good feeling to have in Arcwing. Where you just like spike up the side of something uh, and just come up behind an enemy. Feels really good. Problem is I don't think they capitalize on that very much. Like I feel like this should be denser. But not as dense as the Corpus ship. Like trench runs are cool, but eh. Oh. Wait, how do you get kicked from Twitch? Like, chat? <laughs> you can absolutely join on the next Arcwing run. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, tomatoes, uh, just add me in game. And then I will, uh, invite you straight away on the next run. Huh. Weird. Okay, no, something's not taking C. Good. Did your phone really like to autocorrect things to from? Man, I want to see someone, like be forced to deal with an autocorrect that just changes everything to the word no. Actually, that would be a good social experiment. I think there's actually a faster way to do that than actually dealing with the autocorrect.
His phone really likes the word, for, like, from, man. From here, from there, from everywhere. Thirty-two hundred affinity just from the orbs that you usually would not pick up if you weren't using the Edsel. Coral Dreg, get back here. There we go. Is there a good way to level up Arcwing and weapons? Yeah, yep, this one. Yep. Uh, mobile defense is also not terribly slow. You might do like five runs in a mobile defense to get it leveled. If you get good spawns, there can be bad spawns in mobile defense occasionally. OD's that one. Yeah, if you've got a uh, decent melee weapon, like the Centaur, which I would argue is the best Arcwing melee, uh, then you can totally not even use your primary weapon and level it here. And then, like, if you're careful... Yeah, a melee weapon's really all you need to level, honestly. Like, effectively. You could definitely level everything else, although it'll be harder, obviously, whenever you have a uh, less leveled up arc wing with no mods in it. That's how I did both the Odonatas, though. Just came here. I hate the Odonata so much. Usually. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Most of that hate comes from whenever Arcwing first came out, and I was like, this sucks. This is awful. Because it was terrible when it came out. It's good now. Actually, not bad. That's like the old hate. I've got this ancient hate for the Odonata inside me from whenever it released. If you've got the Grattler, you should be able to run this if you've got some alright mods. Yeah, it only it only took a year to make it halfway to where it needs to go. Oh man. I don't know. Well like it's taken it's taken two years to get like Warframe itself from its starting point to where it is now. And I would argue that Warframe is like maybe three or four times as good as it was when it released. And it was pretty damn good when it released. Like whenever Arcwing released, it was like, this is in beta. This is like a solid seven as a beta. But like, Warframe has gotten so much better over time. And it's literally only getting better. Like they just keep fixing things. It's great. Yeah, Derelict Survival is not great. Well, most of that is because I never get enough goddamn enemies to spawn, but that's all survivals. It's like, can I just have 700 enemies just all in this room right now? Make me fight them to the death. I want to do it. I will do so. Like, going room after room without seeing a single goddamn enemy is the worst thing about survival. I hate it so goddamn much. And, like, every time it happens, I'm inclined to, like, 
like blame like computers that couldn't handle it. But it's like that's not that's not a good reason. I can't blame the people. Obviously, obviously there should be like I don't know. There should be some kind of setting, some like some like crazy mode that like has a warning that's like your computer needs to be pretty beefy to handle this. Warning. We're gonna send a shitload of enemies after you. That'd be nice. I don't know. Oh yeah, it does not go up very much. It goes up at all, though. Solo, you get drained so hard sometimes. But if a team isn't, like, sort of centralized, you split up the enemies too much and there's basically no one. Just because to keep survival going, you need to be killing so much. But whoops, did not swing. That's important. Oh shit. I fucked up. Hi. I fucked up. Oh, this Ogma see me. Alright. Time to be careful. I should wait. There we go. Here's a bunch of health. Forgot I left all that over here. Which is over here. That's pretty good. Much better. A support arc wing would be nice. I would even take a bunch of toxic ancients. I just need enemies that are gonna drop me air. That's my main worry. Like, there was a point where the air didn't really matter, and, like, Lotus would actually drop you enough. Not anymore. More Elytron parts. Trinity of Arkwing Place. It might not need to be as good as Arkwing. Uh, there are definite areas that you want to- So close, Velocitus. Why? Uh, there are definite points that you want to be, but... <clears throat> it's not- I don't think splitting up is usually the answer. Yeah, can fly around in space, but still need air. Yeah. It's like, can I wear this? Recent? No, I need requests. Friends. Friends. Oh, I have all these requests. Alright, I'll accept all of these. Wait, they actually added an accept all? That's my favorite. And there's Zengoku from earlier. Wonderful. So close. Okay, let's... As much as I want to do a run for one level on the Velocitus, I also want to rank up today. <laughs> so the Phaedra will be getting its levels now. Alright, here we go. Should I switch to Elytron? Nah, nah. It's super cheesy. I'm gonna okay. Let's let's use the elytron just to mix it up. It's so cheesy though. Okay, make sure my build is correct. Reroute, transferal. What am I not using? Not using shield recharge and armor? How much armor does this have? Eh, not enough to really care. 
This thing's so tanky that I'm not super worried about it. You know what mod costs way too much? Hyperion thrusters. All I'm saying is that I want to be able to wear the arc wing whenever they turn off the air. Like, Ortis, hey, can you send that shit through the window? Yeah, that'd be great. Like, just bust a window out on the Corpus ship and be like, bring, bring it right in here. Right here? It's because Orders is rampant. He's losing his mind. He can't follow orders. You know what they should bring over into the main game from Arcwing? You should, um, uh... We should have the energy regeneration. Dude, yes. For real. Although... I can kind of understand the point for that one, because their point is like, it's a stealth ship, it's not made for combat. I'm like, you know what, okay. I'm alright with that. How big is my AoE? That's pretty good. What's the stack limit for? Maybe the Elytron stack limit is for. Hmm, I don't know if the Mantis is for combat. It drops a healing pod, so I'm leaning towards a no. Could be wrong. Itzel is definitely a stealth arc wing, but all arc wings are like created for combat. It's like a personal like combat unit. I forgot how much goddamn health the Elytron has. Holy shit. Never die. You know what, last man? You've got a good point. So is the Normandy. <laughs> oh, we're definitely gonna get more ships. I don't think there's any question about that. I like that I will be able to build the ships, though. Huge plus. These bastards that just, like, get this and fly away. You little bastards. I mean, it's kind of a support ship. It drops healing pods. And then, like... The, uh... The Lizette does, like, sneaky hacking. That's its call down. I can see it being support. I mean, if you, if you jump in front of a bullet, you were on support. My friends really need to stop starting up games. <laughs> so that I can see my energy totals and shit. Just cover this area in smoke really effectively.
But now they can't see the point, they can't cap it. Have they changed their attacking point? Oh no, wait, no, we have to murder them all, right. I like how the mantis looks. Oh, there's one. You know what's useless? The Elytron's one. Like, who would use that? Oh yeah, space smoke. That's how this works, like, space smoke. Don't you know about space smoke? All you had to do was follow the train, CJ. After this, I should be able to take the test. Which I have no idea what it is. So there's that. I could go check. Probably should go check. Yeah, I probably will go to the uh, relay and check it out. I need to pick up my daily from Ordis also, I think. Let's just get all this smoke nice and spread around here. Now they don't know that there's a point in here, it's fine. Be sure to be in the itzel for the test. Alright. Wait, it's another Arcwing test? A solo Arcwing defense. Well, then I know what I'll be bringing. I know exactly where that goes. Yeah, yeah. The one that is, uh... The race is, uh... I brought the It's Level that. Like, actually by accident, I think. Yeah, tw no, 20 was not Superman 64. <laughs> 20 was hit one, now you're completed. It's done. Game over, man. That person has died. I should go save them. Oh, they're already getting him? Alright, good. You actually didn't have to fly through any of the rings. You could just get to the end. And then that totally counts, which is hilarious. Like, I think I flew through like the first three rings and I was like, Wide a map and just fucking buzzed right over. Outstanding. I feel bad for you. I think I played that game. Definitely not the day it came out. I played that game though. I got. I think I rented it. Good decision on my parents' part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I bet that was a bad day. If you played that game, period, whether you bought it or not, it was a bad day. <laughs> I 
can't tell where these enemies are supposed to be going. Here? <laughs> you feel bad for you. That's the best. Feeling bad for your past self is like the greatest. It's also the most like meta thing ever. Oh man, I feel bad for you. Wait, which Aquaman game? I don't think I played another like superhero game after that until like Spider-Man 2, which was the best, the best decision. God, Spider-Man 2, game was so good. Spider-Man 1 was pretty good too. Actually, yeah, yeah, I played Spider-Man 1. Yep, that would that would have been it. Then Spider Man Two, obviously. And then three, and I was like, the GameCube one. Definitely did not play in a GameCube Aquaman game. I for sure missed out on that party, which I assume was just great. I have, like, the lowest, like, okay. So, like, that right here, let's say that this right here is where, like, the Avengers is. My, my, like, expectation of Aquaman is, like, down here. Hold on, I got Adeline over. That's the floor. That's where my expectations are for Aquaman. Spider-Man 2 is overrated. Spider-Man 2 is 100% overrated. It was real good when it came out, though. It definitely does not hold up. Well, the swinging does. But everything else does not at all. But I will shill the fuck out of that swing mechanic. Have you guys heard the story on how, like, that swing stuff actually got into the game? I assume everyone knows this story. Like, it basically boils down to, like, one of, like, the, uh, game designers was, like, not happy with how the swing was and just snuck in and just did it. It's, like, the greatest. Like, obviously I am paraphrasing a story that I, like, heard from someone else. And that story could be totally false. But that that is the, the apparent story of the swing mechanics. I'm missing so much affinity because I'm not the Itzel. Superhero related series. Um, I watched Daredevil. You mean Mike Z talked about it on the fucking Super Best Friend cast? I listen to that podcast every fucking week. Those guys are great. Those guys are like literally part of the, like the inspiration for like my whole channel being a thing. And Mike Z is fucking awesome. Also, for those of you that don't know what Indivisible is, go look that up. That game's fucking amazing. 
God, that prototype's so good. Back that game. I'm about to, like, double my backing of that game. Like, I have a stake here. I'm shilling super hard for that game because I want it to be real. God. Yeah, Mike Z seems super cool too. I love Skullgirls. Even though I'm bad at it. Like, I'm, I'm pretty bad at fighting games. Like, I am, like, just barely above Scrub tier. They did indeed start that Devil's Third LP. I already watched that. <laughs> I, wa I watched that, like, while finishing off some biscuits from uh, Thanksgiving dinner. That sucks. Yeah, Devil's Third looks interesting. Depending on how that goes, I might, like, stop watching the LP and then, uh, play it myself. Yeah. That game seems interesting, though. The coolest shit in that whole game, though, is the thing that they only did, like, one time. Which is, like, jumping, like, a fucking hundred miles Hulk-style and just, like, giving the guy a good... Like, what the fuck? I just realized these drops. Fucking, really? Seven uncommon fusion cores? That's abysmal. Like, I know I have all the Arcwing mods, but still. But anyway, back to, uh... Back to Red Dog's thing. Uh, I did watch Daredevil. I want to watch Jessica Jones, and I've heard good things about um, the new Supergirl Supergirl series that has come out. Or I think there's a pilot. Heard, I've heard that uh, it's pretty good though. I'm interested in those for sure. Daredevil was great. Daredevil was probably one of the best things I've seen out in like a long time. They like went super hard in the paint on that. Oh yeah, they want B. Yeah, I have a Wii U, but I do not use it very often. I got it basically for Smash, honestly. Like, Splatoon came out, and I was like... I should get that game. And then Mario Maker came out, and I was like... I should probably get that game, too. Because they're probably both great. But then I was like... Dude. Yes. Ah. Red Dog, yes. Indivisible looks so good. God, I want that game to be so real. There's a prototype that you can download. I think it's on Mac, PS4. Um, it's on PC for sure, obviously. And it's so fucking good. It's so goddamn fun. Like, if you have any system, you should play that Indivisible prototype and back that goddamn game if you like it. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you to back something you don't like. But holy fuck, they did a good job. Like, just that prototype. That prototype is worth, like, $5 all by itself. And it's one level. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably download that overnight. That actually might be what I stream tomorrow. I've got like a lot of time off because Thanksgiving and then like my days off kind of correlated. So, I'll probably download that and give that a go. Also, that's kind of why I've been streaming so much. Is because like, I have the time. So I'll probably be streaming tomorrow. For those of you that are interested, obviously. I wish I knew more about, like, how Twitch works, though. 
Like, I feel like I've got, like, an okay handle on, like, how YouTube works, but Twitch is somewhat a mystery to me. I haven't been using my thumpers at all. I feel like a scrub, not paying attention whatsoever. Too used to the Itzel. Actually killed the Ogma? No, it didn't even come close. Oh no, there's just a bunch of Ogma. Okay, never mind. I have a radiation proc. That's not good for the people that are in my bubble. Wonder if that works like that. God, that would be hell. Paladin Champions of the Realm. I haven't seen anything about it. I might look it up in a sec though. Here, let's look that up real quick. Paladin Champions of the Realm. I will check that out real quick. Interesting. Wow, they got, they literally got paladins.com. I feel like Paladins.com should have been taken like a million years ago. You can buy into the beta. Interesting. I would like to see more about this video game. Alright, Fernando. You weird kind of guy. Interesting. That character is straight out of League of Legends. Interesting. Sign up for beta. I, don't even, I, I can't like. It's more MOBA y. Interesting. Match progression. That's unfortunate. Oh! I'm ready for the rank up! It's happening. Alright, we're gonna go to the relay and see what it is. Just because obviously it could be like any amount of things. Thank you, Tomatoes, for going with me. Better against Infested Frost or Rhino? Definitely Frost. Uh, mostly because you can get Chilling Globe, and then that basically makes it so that Infested don't even exist. Like, most of them will try and get near you, and then they're, they just turn into ice. And then just in general, you can, like, with normal stuff, block off halls. Ooh, that progression is rough. Yeah, uh, hmm. Yeah, if you have, like, random progression, that's no good. I went the wrong way. There we go. Uh, this one? It doesn't give me a number. It should say mastery test number. Practice. Wait, what one is this? Is this above mine? I don't know which test this is. Spawn camping. Sacrifice your friends for more time on the clock.
I think I've done this test at the very least. Thought you couldn't practice test. This is test 21? Oh good, I got it right the first time, wonderful. Oh, this is really it? I can trivialize the absolute fuck out of this. And you guys are about to see me trivialize this shit super hard. I didn't even have my melee weapon properly out. There we go. Okay, really? That's 21? That's not even hard. Super easy. Alright, let's like, blow it up. Because I'm pretty sure Excalibur 3 counts as a melee strike. Equinox, go, go, go! I was just gonna bring Excalibur, because his waves count as melee. Wait a minute, can you just kill them with anything, or does it have to be melee? You can kill with anything? What? What? Why is that allowed? You need to melee the orbs. What? It's just a murder fest? Oh. God. Let's see this is Rhino then. Yeah. Rhino's pretty good at this. Yeah, easy peasy. That's so easy. That is like, broke as a joke easy. I need to know if the glaive works on hitting the orbs, because then that's just comedy. They might not die from falling off the edge, so I'm just gonna go with this. Alright, let's rank it up. It should be super easy. Oh yeah, I only have to melee orbs, so I made this like way harder on myself before. Alright. I'll find out if that guy dies. Okay, no. Throwing doesn't work. Hmm. I may have been the wrong choice. I forgot I don't have, like, unlimited energy like I do with Wukong. Yeah, it was probably too easy with the glaive. Like, trivial. Like, it would be so trivial. Like, this is already trivial, but like, whatever. These guys are dead. There we go. Oh, a rare! A rare material! No! What drops? What drops here? Ah, oh, I don't know what the rare is here. I don't know what area it's considered as. Rubidoy and Alloy? Ugh. I really want to know what the rare is. I don't think I've ever seen that drop. Alright, Gold Tiger. Also, this new Rhino skin is 
Very nice. Hmm? Oh no, my stomp finished off the last two. Thank you, tomatoes. Uh, how much is it to the next rank? <laughs> That's not gonna happen for a while. <laughs> it's gonna be a gonna be a little bit on a uh, little bit on 22. We'll be here for a while. That's a lot of necessary mastery. That's more than the amount I am already over on my total. That is excessive. Oh well, I'm glad I got there. Especially before the second, whenever it'll be worth it. Man, that's gonna be so crazy whenever they, like, put that out. Like, whenever they do the update with the login rewards and, like, based on your mastery, you get pushed ahead on it. Like, I wonder how far 21 takes you, because it's the max achievable, so what are they going... What are they going to put in? Like, what do I get? What's the, what's the cool thing that you put in the game? It'll probably be, like, a huge list of things, because I'll get all, like, the previous ones before that, too. Oh, man. I'm excited for that. And before they make the Tonko or MR21, hey, it would be balanced then, right? No, I'm just kidding. It would be super unbalanced. Tonko is not that good. The Tonko is like a weapon I could see them putting at 10, though. Like, a, if the Tonko is like Master Rank 10 required, I'd be okay with that. It'd be fine. Like, the Simulator is at 12. Oh yeah, right now it doesn't reward you very much. They're adding in new stuff, though. And, like, part of the, um... Like, whenever they change login rewards, it determines where you start. So, it became apparent that I wanted to get to 21 whenever I realized I actually could. Yeah. The heck, Master Rank 21? Oh, no. Even better. The Vacor Hex stays at 12, but the regular Hex goes to 21. Oh, that would be pure gold. All right, I'll be right back, guys, and we will continue.
All right, I returned with pie. Oh man, <laughs> the Tigris MR22. They just knock over. They should destroy their Lorunda relay. Hmm, I think it'll be fine. Besides, the Amprex is, would still be fine. I don't think it would hurt the Amprex. Like, the Amprex is mostly its criticals, right? Like, a great deal. Oh, well, Pi is the best. What do you want to do now? <laughs> 